started and started fuck 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 you This is on my dick kinda faded off my shoes I don't give a fuck about the movie I'ma come soon Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and thumbs up the video or else Momo's gonna appear under your bed when you're sleeping. If you end up disliking the video, there's no telling what Momo's gonna end up doing to you, boys. What are you waiting for? Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> the dude that didn't subscribe and like the video. What are you waiting for, dude? Smash that like button, subscribe already. Hey, what is up, guys? It's your brother, Summer Twin, back Bruh. with another video. And on today's video, your boy's going to be playing Sony the Boss's new Dragon Ball Z oh, game. Man. And he finally dropped, boys. He finally dropped Bruh. it, boys. But, yo. Honestly, boys, if you haven't played this game, I highly suggest you hop on it right now. It's totally worth it. It's honestly a great Dragon Ball Z game. If you're a noob like me and you want to level up pretty quickly, all you have to do, boys, is click the tab button and go to the red dot. The red dot is basically a story quest. Each dot represents a specific quest. So, for example, the pink dot represents the special quest. Um, the green dot represents the quest that you already completed. The white dot represents the raid quest and the yellow dot represents the daily quest. The dot that you're going to need to go to is the red one, the story quest. The story quests are the best quests you could do if you're new to the game. They're basically quests that are around your stats, you know what I mean? So if you go to a random quest, you might fight an NPC that's way stronger than you. So you don't want to go do random quests and they might not even give you that much XP. So just go to the story quest, it's going to give you a good amount of XP and give you NPCs that are around your strength. It's going to be easy to complete hopefully easy to complete not that easy you know there's gonna be challenges around the way but you'll manage alrighty once you make it to the red dot just talk to the nbc i already talked to the nbc and he gave me a quest to defeat oh what's his name reddits reddits Bruh. by the way boys keep in mind your boy did not watch the dragon ball z series okay. um i'm not that big of an anime guy you feel me i only watched a few animes but like oh, come on, yeah i just man. don't have enough time to watch anime nowadays and i when i was a child i didn't get to watch uh, dragon ball z because i kind of watched naruto late so i was too busy watching naruto once i finished watching naruto i was just not into anime after that and like yeah i never got the chance to watch dvd but most of my family members including my brothers watched it except for me which is sad but one day one day i'm gonna get into the series it's, just, it's a really good anime for sure you know what i mean if it wasn't it wouldn't be this popping if you guys do end up enjoying this video let me know in the comment section below so i could um make more videos on this game for you guys if you end up enjoying this video a lot i'll definitely grind on this game and um what's it called I'll definitely grind on this game and make way more videos showcases and all that good stuff but for now, since I'm still a noob and this is my first time playing this game, not first time, second time. Bruh. Second time playing this game. I'm going to show you guys how to level up fast and basically make a video on how to level up fast and a guide on how to like play this game. Because I want to help people that are new to this game like me. Because when I first hopped on this game, which was yesterday, I was a little confused. But yeah, if it wasn't for my friends, boys, I think I would have been still a little bit clueless and I would have been kind of lost. So yeah, and also, the only way you can get moves on this game is by defeating your teacher or trainer. So that's how I got the only move I have right now, which is a Kamehameha move. I got it by defeating my teacher, and he ended up giving it to me once I defeated him and then talked to him. So once you defeat your teacher, you just go to him, speak to him, and he'll give you this move that easily. So that's the only way you can get moves on this game, I believe. I'm not really sure. Don't take my word for it, because I'm still a noob. But yeah, and there's also another way you can get um, moves by defeating certain bosses. Um, one of my boys had defeated that doctor boss, I forgot his name, doctor something, and he ended up getting uh, a move from him. So yeah, that's another way to get moves on this game is by defeating bosses. The other way is by going to a trainer, defeating him, and then learning it from him. So yeah, get moves by defeating a trainer, or you get a move by defeating a boss. Keep in mind, not all bosses are going to end up dropping you a move, certain bosses. But yeah, that's how you get moves on this game. My opinion. I think. Not really sure. I think there's other ways you can get this um, moves in this game. Probably by buying them. I'm not really sure, cause I'm still a new black. Like I said, but yeah. Um, it's taking way too long to defeat this dude, boys. Bruh. Scratch what I said earlier in this video about you being able to manage uh, much called completing this quest alone. I was 100% Bruh. wrong. So I'm gonna get one of my boys to help me out. He's really OP on this game. He's about level. He's about level 90 something, 97. And he got one of the transformations, which you get at level 50, which is the ape transformation. So I'm gonna get him over here. Big shout out to him. I'm gonna have him help me defeat this dude because it's taking way too long. All right, your boy's back. Um, she wanted to give a big shout out to my boy. Monstrous. Anything that I can't pronounce, boys, I'm gonna end up letting Google Translate do the work for me. But yeah, boys, big shout out to my boy. Monstrous. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I'm here with that ape transformation weapon, Raditz, for me. 
Damn, look at that ape transformation. Looking hella lit. Can't wait until your boy unlocks that ape transformation. Finna be unstoppable. Finna be whipping. <laughs> but yeah, guys, once I get OP and you guys want to see a video of me um, bullying noobs or just taking advantage of my what's called strength and just attacking random online players or anybody that messes with me. If you want to see that kind of video, let me know in the comment section below. I'm planning to make some troll videos in the future as well since your boy got this new editor if you guys haven't noticed yet. But make funny videos and add edits to make it even more funnier. So yeah, just stay tuned boys. And I've been trying to make a lot of videos guys, but honestly my schedule is pretty f up. So anytime I'm able to make a video, just know it's going to be late. Feel me? Any videos I'm going to be dropping in the future, it's going to be entertaining and I'm going to take my time on it. So yeah, guys, I'm going to be dropping videos every week since I don't got that much time to make videos. But once I do have a lot of time to make videos, just now I'm going to be dropping videos every day. Good edited videos. But yeah, and also, if you guys made it to this point in the video, please let me know in the comment section below what you think about my edits, boys. And if you, got, if you guys got any video ideas I should make on this game, let me know as well. If you guys want to see a certain video. Let me know. If you guys want to see me upload a certain video, let me know. Shoo. Shoo, my boy's vulnerable right now. I gotta help him out. So that that's the disadvantage of this um what's called ape transformation. At a certain point you're gonna get tired and you're gonna be vulnerable like that, boys, and whoever you're fighting is gonna be able to attack you. So yeah, this uh, according to my boy, this transformation is pretty good for PvE but not PvP. So <laughs> if you guys got this transformation, don't use it in PvP. You're gonna Bruh. get whooped. I've been talking this whole video and I haven't been doing much guys. Time to whip this dude right it's already boys. Finally boys. All right, let's go straight to the next mission. Alrighty boys. So for some reason there isn't any more story quests. As you can see, there's no red dot. So that's kind of weird. I think you have to wait a day. So you could do another story quest or something. I'm not really sure because it gives crazy amount of XP. As you guys just saw, your boy went from level 8 all the way to level 12, which is not bad. Just imagine doing um, story quests over and over and over. Feel me? Before you know it, you'll be at level 50, 100. So yeah, that's the fastest way to level up by doing red quests. And if you're unlucky like me and the red dot just disappear, just go around and look for random quests if you want to keep leveling up. So I got a yellow quest, which is a daily quest, and it gives me about 2,400 XP. Not even close to the amount of XP I got from that story quest. But yeah, boys, um, so all I have to do is whip these NBCs, which should be pretty easy. Alrighty, finally your boy's done. I uh, got 2400 XP, not bad. I'm level 13, just leveled up once. Story quest, as you guys can see, is the type of quest that gives you the most XP. So I highly suggest you guys complete all the red quests in order to level up fast. And that's the fastest way to level up. If you guys did enjoy this video, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video if you didn't yet. Let's try to hit 100 likes on this video. And also, big shout out to my boy for helping me defeat Raditz. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. His channel's link will be in the description. It's been your boy, the Sun121. Peace out. Ooh,